Welcome back. In the last step, we got our skeletal character imported to the project. And now, as the second part of the setup process, we're going to bring in his animations. So in order to do that, we just need to go back to the anims folder. And this is where we'll put all those animations. It's nice to be organized. And what I'm going to do is just right click in here and go to import to this folder. And then I'm still looking at my chapter five blip folder. And we're going to start with the idle animation. So let's just import that. Okay. So I'm going to change force all mesh as type to skeletal again, so that Unreal Engine knows that this is a skeletal mesh. And this time we're going to import it onto the skeleton. So what I can do now is I have some choices of skeleton. There's the mannequin skeleton that we started the project with, and there's the blip mesh skeleton. So that's ready. And we can also on this one import only animations, which is what we want to do. We don't want to import the mesh again. That's already there. Just the animations. So let's scroll down a little bit more. Make sure that import animations is selected. And we're just going to use the source timeline for this should be fine. And everything else should be set up. So now let's click on import. So you can see that it's previewing on our mesh and it looks like he's not in a T pose anymore. So that's probably worked. However, we should open it up just to test. So let's double click on that. And we get this other view here and we can see that he is now idling on a loop, which is exactly what we wanted. So now let's bring in the other animations. So I'm going to close that for now. So we're going to right click in the anims folder. I'm going to go to import. And then I'm just going to select the rest of the animations all together. So we'll have fall and then I'm going to hold control and then click on run and then also click on walk and that will select those files at the same time. Then I can click on open. And then what I want to do is make sure that we're telling Unreal Engine it is a skeletal mesh here. Lovely. We need to tell it which skeleton we want these animations to go on to. So let's choose blip mesh skeleton. And you'll see that this button became active then because it had enough information. We're going to make sure that we are importing animations and that should do it. So let's click on import. And there we go, it imported them one at a time. We should now have the fall, the run and the walk. So let's just start with the walk. So I'm just going to double click on that and you can see that he is walking as we intend. Well done, Blip. You are beautiful. Now we could close this and reopen it, but because these are all on the same skeleton, in the bottom right hand corner here, we can switch between the different animations there. So if I now double click on run, that'll switch to the run animation. There he goes. And the same for the fall. Now the fall is actually just um, one frame that loops. So that's pretty straightforward actually. And that's all the animations imported. And now we can save them. So I'm just going to Close that window again, open my content drawer, just click on save all and save all four of those animations. So we're ready to move on to creating a blend space in the next part. So I will see you there for that. Thanks for watching and supporting the channel. If you'd like to help me create more content like this, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon. The contributions I get through Patreon make a huge difference in keeping this channel going. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to make sure you don't miss my upcoming tutorials. Your support and engagement mean the world to me and help my channel continue to grow. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.